We are in the Telos Islands in the northern part of Sumatra in Indonesia. An afternoon on the beach and Bella decided to build a raft out of driftwood and some rope already found on the beach. With some help from Dad, of course. Today. Is it all right if I stay today? Take my time, far behind, leave my pride. Oh, is it all right if I stay? Is it all right? We just stay today. It was finished and time to put it to the test. Is it all right? Cause I wish we could just stay. We pulled it into the shallow and I gave it a go. Check our time far behind. But change my mind is that But it started to fall apart. And there was a gecko, so I was out of there. I don't wanna feel obliged in any way. Is it alright if I waste my time and I lead myself to a mistake? Mum got it safely ashore. I continue to see if I could paddle it back to Catalpa. Well, maybe not this time. We pulled it out of the water so that nothing got tangled in it. And I'll try again another day. So I just left our Anchorage that we were at last night and uh, it was really nice. We're hoping to come back here because the people over there are really lovely and we'd love to come back and have some time here. We've got Sudley today which we didn't think was going to happen so we thought we'd better keep moving. Even though we're not going to go very far we're just going to a town. That's why we've kept the cover on but a quick passage meal. It's really easy. It's just chopped tomato, chopped cucumber, chopped avocado and chickpeas and flax seeds and pepitas. And then I put some lime juice, olive oil, salt and pepper. So that's really easy. You can eat it like that. And if you have fresh herbs and things like that, I'd put them in. But some pasta. This is actually, we've, I made a massive bowl and we've already had it. This is seconds. But just put the pasta in there. Mix it all around. Beef it up a little bit because we're hungry sailors and if I don't feed much to the captain, he gets angry. So like I said, this is our se second lot. I had about uh, this full of all our veggies and stuff. And then I just mixed our pasta with it. This is our seconds <laughs> so that's it but easy good for passage because you can cook up pizza pasta and you can usually have those things in your cupboard or the fridge so like i said if you've got nuts seeds fresh herbs oh i wish i had fresh herbs but i don't oh i put a bit of oregano in there but it was dried oregano yeah that's it this is an easy yummy and healthy meal to feed the family. So the camera is working again. The camera broke this morning or wouldn't turn on. And we thought, uh oh, it's gone. And then Lee cleaned out the charging port. It's a little bit corroded. And it's working again, so I can charge it. It's amazing.
amazing. He's amazing. But I still can't zoom. We've just left Telos Town and we're heading right towards the equator. So we are going to cross the equator and be in the northern hemisphere in uh, less than an hour, which is pretty cool. So we've got a little preparation for our ceremony that we're going to have. Crossing the equator is going from the southern hemisphere over into the northern hemisphere. And traditionally, the sailors in the Navy do a ceremony. Some offerings of Catherine Morgans to uh, King Neptune. So we're not really sure what it's all about, but the kids aren't too impressed about this gross concoction. I must warn you, there may be some hissy fits and uh, might be a little dramatic. We're very close to getting to the equator so exciting and as you can see Bella's made me extra special for King Neptune and uh, we're getting getting ready getting prepped. It's tradition for sailors that have never crossed the equator to perform some kind of ceremony and if you have never sailed across the equator you are what they call a polywog and yes we are all polywogs. We're now in the northern hemisphere. Anyone feel any different? Oh, I don't know, we flush the toilet, it'll spin the other way. Is that true? I think so. What's that swing in the background? So according to Wikipedia and what I can gather, some of these ceremonies of crossing the equator back in the 19th century were quite cruel. It started with the sailors in the Navy. Let the ceremony begin! Whoa! Morgan for King Neptune. Headed, twisting turns in the sun. It beats down and it burns. But I keep, keep on pushing through. And every step quicker than the last My feet tread down this beaten path And I keep, keep on pushing through Cause I get up Mama's up! <laughs> Whoa! That's a bit cheeky! Right back down But your love lifts me back to solid ground yeah, I get on the swing. So sure I have my doubts, but I must keep, I must keep <laughs> The rituals are a baptism of the crew and appearing in King Neptune's court. Our court was this swing, and our punishment was the yuck stuff in the bowl, then dunked in the sea. I was up first. Come on, guys, please be kind to your dear old mum. We got Bella's a little bit sick of me. But I keep keep on pushing through.
you feel like when a pig edited him. We had a bit more fun on the swing and headed off on our way to Niaz. These videos are made possible because of our patrons. Thank you all so very much. It all comes all thanks to you all. So it's about 10 o'clock and we left Tello Town um, this afternoon and we crossed the equator thanks and um, we're heading towards Nias. So we're on a, about a 50 nautical mile passage and uh, there's a lot of clouds showing up on the radar. We're not sure if it's a storm so just battening down the hatches, preparing for the worst. Up next, we arrive in Niaz and show you that getting provisions isn't always easy. Remember guys, if you like that video, please like and comment and share with your friends. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. See you next time, bye.